Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna tackle local saving and the easiest way is with an ini file which is basically just a text file with a specific format so if you want to know that stay tuned this is one of indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video so let's get right into the good stuff so what you're seeing basically here i have my little safe thingy here that's just for demonstration and then i have my withers well walking around and he collects one of those slimes well he gets points and those points are gonna get stored and for example i will show you we have like i don't know 250 points we exit the room we start the whole thing again and now it should yep show me those points 250 already which is sweet so how does that work well with any files and what do i do basically i have like my global points here and then i open my any file any open and then i close it and in between i do some stuff which can be for example reading and writing because there's not much else you can basically do in between there are some other functions but yeah not important in my opinion. So, how does that work? Basically, any files have a very specific structure. So, for example, if we go into my any, which is being created automatically, so we just go in there, and then you have sections, which are those. Can I zoom it? Yeah, I can zoom. And the, between those brackets, and then you have keys, and then the actual value. How does that look like? Well, basically, the same here, section, key and default. What is default? Well, default is just um, when the in is trying to read something but there's nothing there, then what kind of default value do you want to put in? And then here, real is a real number but all you can do, string. That's it. That These are your two options what you can put in there because there's not nothing else in there. So this is how you can read in and for example once I end the game, and of course you have to put in the, the object into the room, so once I end the game, I just reopen my save file and I call it Bob. Why do I call it Bob? Because why not? Um, you can call it that save file, whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. In the end, you can open it with a text file and that's it. You can just call it really whatever, it doesn't really, really matter. And this is the same systematic. Uh, any open, any close in here, we write some stuff. First of all, what do we write? The section, which you can call whatever you like. Here I call it one uh, section save slots and the other section is text stuff. And then I need a key here, stuff to save or some text, that uh, doesn't really matter. And here a number, because it's a real. And here a string. Bam. That's it. For example, what would actually happen if I would uh, kill that thing? So, for example, you haven't seen that, so let's destroy it and run the game. So, let's keep it open. As you can see, nothing in there. Ooh, uh, one second. Nothing is in there. So, if I, if I go in here and collect some stuff. Oh, what the hell was that? Um, no idea, let's check it in and once for example we enter, bam, a save file is being created. So only when you write something into the ini file, a new thing is being created with the um, folder, uh, your PC, the C, which is most of the time C, then your user, how your PC is called, app data, local and then Shader Tester. Why Shader Tester? Because this is the project name. So this is how it's being called and it's stored locally. And that's basically it. This is how you create and this is how you read uh, well, data out and then you can store them in variables and use them in your game and then well, you can do save points. This is basically it. This is how you can save your stuff for games. And this is really, really handy for very small games where you just have to, well, I don't know, store your 
health, maybe the level, some experience points and some other things which you collected in some very very primitive variables which are like the, the strings or some numbers then you're pretty much set and fine. What's the down downside to that? Well, everybody can read and write that stuff. So if you're giving access to a game like that, expect that some people can actually get into that and manipulate those values. This is the downside, but besides that, super easy and nice way to save. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. One up indie.